What is up guys? Guess what? It is an awesome day. You know that. I'm always going to say that. Would I say it's a crappy day? Happiness is a choice. So everybody out there that goes, oh my day is so bad. You choose to have a better day. It's just that simple. All right, listen, enough of my preaching. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about calf mobility and how that ankle works and we're going to fix it all. It's just that easy. So yes, I have a voodoo band in my hand. Yeah, I'm going to put it on in front of you guys. Why? Because you just ask me all the time how to do it. So I will. So 50% tension, 50% overlap. That's the golden rule of the voodoo band. That's number one. Number two is we're going to talk about how if you look at the way the calf is, so you got the gastroc and then you have the soleus that runs around the outside and they pace down, like they come all down together. And they wind up pasting down that heel cord, that Achilles tendon. That gets all laminated to the back of that tibia and then it starts to draw in on that calcaneus, which is the bottom of the foot, the, the heel. And then it starts to collapse your arch. So here's what happens. Your arch sits like this and the medial side of the arch, what's gonna end up happening is there's a bone called the navicular. It's gonna wind up flattening out and spitting out and you're gonna wind up having a lot of load on here, but you're gonna take your Achilles tendon, instead of being straight down like this, it's gonna kick off to one side. Now you're gonna load up that Achilles, you're gonna wind up blowing it. So we're gonna clean up the calves. So if you're having calf pain, shin splints. Yeah, you didn't think so, but shin splints because you're fighting an agonist and an antagonist, causing a war between those two, tibialis anterior and the gastroc on the back. Trust me, the gastroc on the back and that whole posterior portion is a lot stronger. So you start to get all this nonsense up front from decelerating the foot or from being in a constantly flexed position because that gastroc is super tight. That entire posterior complex actually is really tight. So we're going to clean all that up and then you know what? We're going to unload that ankle and get the mechanics right because the talus is a bone that tucks back to allow for a lot of dorsiflexion. So if you're having a problem getting your ankle into that full dorsiflexion, this is a great way to clear that out. We're going to do it with a plate, a voodoo band, and a, not a dinner plate, and a, uh, and a one inch band. And then you know what? We'll probably wind up smashing out the foot too. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's just like a big bonus today. I'm looking for my, uh, my camera stand. Yeah, see? Looking all over the place and it's all the way over here. Got nice clean floors here, huh? These guys take good, good care of their place. I like that. Hanging out at Delta. Why? Because this place freaking rocks. All right, we're gonna go like this. Put down the camera stand. You can see the band. So we're gonna take the voodoo band. We're gonna go right here. We're gonna trap just the base, just or not the base. We're gonna trap just above the base of the of the Achilles. We're gonna trap a lot of that calf. We're gonna mash this thing out too. We're gonna start low. We're gonna go 50% tension, 50% overlap. Now the clock starts ticking because I am not gonna have a blue foot to match my band because I want this video to be fast, because you know what, I'd like to maintain sensation in my calf. And functionality for that matter. We're gonna come all the way around. Last one, I take my thumb and I tuck it in here. Last one, I give it a really good cinch and then just tuck it in. So now, what I've done is I've pasted down all this tissue down on the bottom where it all kind of mates together. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mash the holy crap out of this thing. And there's a million ways you can do this. So, just so you got an idea, that's the voodoo, okay? We're voodooed up, voodoo, hoodoo. We do, we could do this all day. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a kettlebell. You can use anything, trust me. There's no fancy piece of equipment you need for mashing out your calf. I just want it voodooed and you'll see why. So I'm gonna use a kettlebell. We're gonna take this. Looks like I'm wearing shin skins. You guys have all seen this. Most people don't do it right though. So we're gonna take our foot. We're gonna dorsiflex it as much as we can. We're gonna lay the other one across right away. And then we're just gonna do 20 circles, 20 circles. And then we're gonna move down. Go on the outside. Outside circles, dorsiflex, plantar flex, and roll on the inside. Same thing. Grind away. This foot here is causing a lot of extra weight. And in my case, a lot of extra freaking pain. So all the way down here, grind away until you get to the end of the voodoo band. That's going to free up a lot of that tissue in here. That's number one. Number two is I'm not trying to show you my butt, but you can see I have a plate here. I'm going to use this plate to force me into dorsiflexion. So we're going to take the band. We're going to come down to the ankle crease. We're going to push this away until we load up the band. Load up the band a ton. Once you have that loaded up, what I'm gonna do is, so 
I got my heel on the ground, I've got the ball of my foot, not your toes, because your toes are gonna wind up into, in a, a lot more extension than your ankles. So this band is gonna drag that talus back. So load up the band, ball of the foot on the plate, and then just scour around and force it through all those funky little sticky spots while that band is on that talus, and you're gonna find that your dorsiflexion is amazing when you're done. All right, that's number two. Number three, come on, let's do it, why not? We're gonna hammer out the bottom of the foot because that plantar fascia has a lot to do with that, uh, with that calf function and that ankle function, so we're just gonna clear it up. Here's how you clear it up. You don't have to wear the voodoo band, it just happens to be still on my foot. So what you do is I show you the floor, because that's important. We take the ball, We unload the voodoo band because I'm done wearing this thing. Why? Because it sucks. It's misery. This is the most painful experience. So, ball of the foot, or, sorry, LX uh, lacrosse ball on the bottom of the foot. Flare your toes. Flare the toes, grab your knee, hug yourself into it, and then just mangle away. Get all that stuff, that whole longitudinal arch. When that's all done, transverse arch all the way across. That's it. Those are the three things you're gonna do to clear out your calves and shin splints and ankle pain and plantar fasciitis. Just wrapped it all into one. Hey, I'm Trev Smashworks. Check you guys out tomorrow.